Welcome to the Cosmic Busker. My name is Bobby Cody. This video uh, is about uh, the Bray Root Explosion. Uh, I haven't even decided what I'm going to call this video yet. So I guess the Bay Root Explosion video was fake. Just call it that. Uh, I believe it was Saturday. Uh, I believe that was the case. Saturday or Sunday, I posted a video uh, that alleged to show a missile striking Beirut, that the massive explosion in Beirut that pretty much destroyed the entire city, left I think it was 300,000 people homeless. Uh, I put up a video that alleged that a missile hit the port and that it was a missile that made that explosion. Now, obviously when I posted the video, I wrote alleged. The reason I wrote alleged is because I wasn't sure that it was real. Uh, I did do some due diligence, and we're going to talk about that. And what I want to do is I want to go through the process that I went through in order to de determine that it might be real, the limitations on me and my ability to determine whether it was real or not, and the fact that that's why I posted it to begin with, to get further feedback. And I also want to talk about the, the critical thinking process that led me to believe that it was fake. Uh, it's important if you make a mistake to own up to your mistake and uh, show why. Uh, I think it's a critical thinking aspect and I think it's important that people see critical thinking in operation and understand the steps of how you go through that process and how I made this determination. Um, just a quick thing I want to talk about real quick that, you know, when, when you first come across something, uh, I used to study journalism uh, in college and in high school. One of the first things you want to do, all right, when you come across this issue or problem, you want to define the problem or address it. And one of the ways you do that is, uh, I found to do that, one of the best ways to do that is use a journalistic approach in the way uh, journalists are told to approach a subject matter and a story. And one of the first ones is it's either five or six questions you want to ask. Very simple one word questions. Who, what, where, when, why, how. Six. Who, what, why, when, where, how. Ask those questions, answer those questions so that you will know how to tackle the problem. Uh, so, what I did at this point is okay, so we have this video. Um, I took a look at it and I said, the first thing I need to do is verify that this is real. In order to verify whether or not it's real, I wanted to see if there was a motion blur on the alleged missile that the video has coming in. So what I did, now, my problem with this, those for those who don't know, I'm homeless. Uh, you see me here, I'm in a hotel room. Uh, that's where I record from right now. Uh, they gave me a home the hotel room because of the pandemic. Uh, if it wasn't for the pandemic, I'd be sleeping outside uh, as I have been for the past three years. But because of that, my equipment is limited. Uh, I record this and do all my YouTube on my phone. I'm actually recording this on another phone. So my, uh, the, 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 the video that I looked and was analyzing was being seen on this tiny little screen. It's very limiting uh, in the ability to see. But what I did was I took a screenshot of the missile coming down because my thinking was I'm looking for this motion blur. So I took the screenshot, I enlarged it the best I could, and I'm going to put it up there right now so you can take a look at it and see what I was looking at. So I see what looks like some kind of missile. Definitely, I mean, in the video, you can see some missile. Okay, now I would need to verify that this is real or this was added into the video. And looking at that, um, at that uh, screenshot there, I was looking for motion blur. When I looked at that, I thought that was motion blur. I'm looking for the motion blur. I look at this and you can see, now I know now, that that is essentially a missile that was cut and pasted into the video. 
I know that we'll get to the point of how I made that determination in a moment and it was with the assistance of people that's why I posted the video to begin with I needed further information that I couldn't acquire so I you know when I saw this image I thought that was motion blur you see you can see if you take a real good close look at it the missile it looks like there's there's breaks in the missile it really looks like it was a motion blur to me uh, it turned out when uh, I posted the video somebody replied and said it's a hundred percent fake I'll put up the comments from the other video here so you can take a look and read As a matter of fact I'm gonna read from it right now uh, you know first he uh, he put up no it was 100% joke and published by mistake, this individual commented. Interesting, I said, I, I certainly don't doubt you're right, but nothing I've seen is enough to convince me thus far. Your video shows how one might fake this, not that it is fake, there's a difference. Now, I should mention, he put a link there, this person who commented, no, it was 100% joke and published by mistake. He put a YouTube link there. I clicked on it and it was a video, about a 10 minute long video of the person who actually made that fake video showing how he did it. And he went through the whole process. So I took a look at it and I still was a little unsure. I said, okay, this could be how you fake a video. It doesn't mean that he did it, you know, um, which is, is certainly what I write. I, I wrote, uh, I certainly don't doubt you're right, but nothing I've seen is enough to convince me thus far. Your video shows how one might fake this, not that it is faked. There's a difference. So he wrote back at uh, 54 seconds in the video, he shows the real source. In minute two, he clearly shows how he changed the size of the missile. So I'm um, okay, yeah, maybe. So I said, uh, what about the infrared? The video itself was shot in infrared. And really that infrared was one of the weak spots in the video. When I saw the infrared, I'm like, this could prove that it's fake. And I said, well, I've seen people, uh, infrared cameras and videos, they're actually commonplace now, you can get them. So, uh, you know, that to me said, uh, maybe it's fake. Maybe that's an example of it's fake. I said, well, you know, what about the IR? I asked the person and he said, well, if he did it, he made the fake more convincing than his explanation, which is why I'm skeptical. I've seen this type of stuff before and it's usually when stuff is real. I'm still undecided. And then he says, uh, go to this particular point, three minutes, 45 seconds in the video. It's called x-ray effect. So, you know, I did so, and I said, yeah, you know, I saw that. Uh, and so then I, I also commented to the video. I said, I also noticed people commenting on his vid aren't buying it either. 214 views thus far for his convention, his confession. Nobody believes him. <laughs> um, and then that's when I really noticed that there had been on this fake video, there had been an email address in the upper left-hand corner. I saw it, but I couldn't read it. Uh, I've already shown you, I have these tiny f screens, phone screens that I see everything. I couldn't see what the email was. I potentially wanted to block it out because I didn't want to show anybody's email. I couldn't even see it. And for all I knew, that was the person who created the video. He wanted his email up there so people could you know, uh, get in touch with him and talk to him about the video. So I felt, Leave the email up there. Um, I could barely even see it anyway. I didn't even know what it's, it wrote. Uh, so then I finally, I noticed, hey, this person who's commenting, I said, you have the same name as the email in the video. You're saying you're the faker? Oh, what's going on? You know, why change your YouTube name? So then at this point, he wrote back. No, the faker used my email by mistake since it was for sale years ago. Yes, the email on video, I own it. I can even reply to you from it. The faker sent me so much emails, he's sorry how it's come out this so far, so now I'm trying to clear my name and email. So the person's email on there actually commented and said, no, that was me, my email. The faker used my email address, I didn't create it. He just used my email address. Uh, and then the person wrote, the video hit 6 million views in less than five hours. That was shared on over 1,600,000,000 users in less than eight hours. We called Google to ban it. We also spent so much time to report all the high quality versions. I responded to me, he wants to ban it. I, I, 
Look, on the YouTube channel that explains how I did it, nobody believes him. If you ban it, now nobody's gonna be, everybody's gonna believe that that missile was real, and that missile really hit it. Don't ban it, that's the worst thing you're doing. That's what I replied, I replied, they shouldn't ban it. Let it exist so others can determine it's fake. Ban it, nobody will believe so, but those who believe what they are told, no questions asked. And I told him, sorry, you're going through this. So, you know, at that point, there was no question. It was a fake video. Um, as I stated in, in, in uh, the Beirut video, the initial video, the fake one, I don't have the capacity to uh, make the determination, and it wasn't based on my mental or, or cognitive abilities to make the determination. With the right screen size and... Uh, equipment, I would have been able to make the determination that it was fake, and I wouldn't even posted it. I, I may have made a post saying, hey, this is fake, guys, watch out, but that's about it. Unfortunately, I don't have the equipment, so that's where this comes in real quick. I'm going to ask you guys if anybody wants to help me out. Uh, I do have PayPal, uh, the cosmic, the cosmic busker at gmail.com. Uh, it's on PayPal, so you can, you can uh, help me out if you'd like to. I'd much appreciate it. But more importantly, I'd like you to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Uh, my apologies for, for initially assuming that that was real, although I did have questions. Um, but it's most important to arrive at the truth, no matter how you go about that way, as long as it's the proper way. So thanks, everybody. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'm going to be posting another video in a short while. Thanks.